if you worked on Premiere or have recently started, you must have realized how interesting this piece of software really is. It's easy, maybe that's why editors love to use it, as your project timeline grows with lots and lots of tracks. It gets difficult, frustrating. So today, I will give you seven crucial tips to master your timeline. First and foremost, it's a must-know shortcut for all Premiere users. No matter how simple or populated your timeline is, you can simply press backslash to zoom in all your audio video contents and take a quick glance at your timeline. Also, you can use this key as a zoom point, so clicking it will take you in and out of any point on timeline when you need doing so. Works like a charm. Now to zoom into your timeline, take your cursor to where you would like to zoom into. Press and hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and scroll your wheel up and down to zoom in and out. And then you can always scroll around ahead or back. Remember at any time, you can hit backslash for zooming back to the entire timeline. Now, if you have a timeline and you would like to zoom in a little more to the contents of a specific track, you probably already know that you can always bring your cursor above the track to resize it, but an easier, more efficient way to do that is by double-clicking anywhere near your track name to quickly expand or collapse the contents of your track. Now, it's really handy when you want to clean up a specific track, be it audio or video. If you're stuck while adjusting your track sizes and want to get back to how it normally was when you started your project, you can always click and hold these scroll handles, slide it completely down and back up and you will have your timeline back to how it was, clean and sorted. Any zoom tracks should now get back to their default size. And you will have a clean space again to add more tracks and work on top of it. So as you start with Premiere, you will notice the sequence has a lot of empty video and audio tracks made for you. Sometimes you don't need those empty tracks and you may only need just a couple tracks to work with. So to get rid of these tracks, you can always right click and delete an empty track. But an easy quick way is by right clicking and hit delete tracks. Here you can select video and audio tracks and from the drop down have empty tracks selected. Now hit OK and you have all the empty tracks deleted. Now you can hit backslash to fit your timeline and work in a clean queue. You probably know that you can use the mouse wheel to scroll right and left on your timeline. But in case you have a tight editing space on a small screen and a lot of tracks, to scroll up and down, you can use the sidebars, which I find really hard using. At that time, you can press hold, control on Windows and command on Mac. And now scrolling the mouse wheel will give you a vertical scroll on your timeline. As a content creator, I find it really handy and I'm sure you can add that to your muscle memory as well. The final quick tip is if you want to zoom in and out of any point of timeline manually, then you can set your playhead cursor and use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to zoom in and out of that timeline. I hope you can just practice a little with these shortcuts and familiarize yourself. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and put down your suggestions in the comments. See you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Egg, signing out.